Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jasmine here and today I'm going to show you how to restore your old wig. Can you believe I had this wig for probably two years? It's a curly wig and it's synthetic so you know how that could go. It could get real nappy back here. But in this video, I show you how to restore your wig to brand new. So if you like to find out what happens, stay tuned. Okay, so the first step is to pull out your old wig. Um, whatever that is, curly, straight, synthetic, human hair. Um, in this video, I have a synthetic wig, which is plastic, so it's, it's fake hair. Before you begin, the best thing to do is to brush out the hair. Now I used a paddle brush uh, strictly specifically for wigs and weaves um, but you can use any paddle brush any type of brush you have and definitely make sure that when you brush out the hair you start from the very end. If you don't and you're trying to brush out a synthetic wig hair you will go crazy you will drive yourself literally insane unless you take it from the bottom all the way to the roots because like i said it's not real hair so it's not gonna quite move like real hair so you have to be extra precautious on this part then once you have the whole wig combed out brushed out now it's time to wash it and when we're going to wash it you can take any shampoo you don't have to use like a good shampoo that's good for your hair like any bad shampoo that you don't like for your natural hair just use on this on your little synthetic wig it won't hurt it's good to start with lukewarm water and submerge the hair all under the water make sure it's wet pour the shampoo across it and then just really work that shampoo into the water, into the hair, making sure to clean out any makeup, dirt, dust, stains, any products that you had put in the hair, all that stuff, just wash it really good. And then after working it through, then you rinse it and then you pour warm water to cold, like kind of cold, kind of warm, maybe room temperature type water back in just to rinse it out really good and make sure that all that shampoo is out of the hair and you're just washing it it's not that far from washing your regular hair you're just going to use shampoo you don't like make sure you squeeze the water out i laid the hair on a towel on a flat surface just to soak up any leftover water now that the hair is clean since this is curly hair i wanted to reconstitute the curls so I ended up taking these little flexi rod, well they're not flexi rods, these little rod things, perm rods, that's what they're called, perm rods. And basically we're just going to section the hair, make it more manageable to work with, and section by section we're going to brush out the hair first, make sure it's completely tangle free, then we're going to take one of these perm rods and ravel the hair around the rod as if it's like a curling one and once you get the ends almost there you're gonna want to tuck it uh, you're going to want to tuck the end so once you raveled all the hair onto the rod you're gonna twirl the rod all the way up until you get to the weft and then once it's there you're gonna Pull this little cap across the hair and into place, and that'll keep the curl in place. And that's what we're looking for. So we're going to keep doing that, small section by small section, brush it out, wind it onto the perm rod, roll it up, and clip it. I happen to not have enough perm rods for the whole entire head so I chose to do one half of the head and then the other half of the head so so this is what it would look like where half the heads have 
half the head has the perm rods and half of them don't and then you want to take your a pot fill it okay then you want to take a pot fill it with water um, and put it on the stove to boil once the water is boiling you could turn it off and dip that hair with the perm rods in it into that hot water and you only dip it in for a couple of seconds literally it does not have to sit there it doesn't have to be there for long just dip it in the hot water and until it's all submerged make sure all the perm rods got wet you could feel the steam i would say a good 15 to 30 seconds is how long you dip the the, the hair in the water then you take it out and place it on a towel to dry once it is dry or mostly dry that's when I took out the first batch of perm rods to put it in the second half of the hair. And then this is what it would look like with half the curls set and then half the curls with perm rods. And so then I, I again repeat that process. Dip it in the boiling water for 15 to 30 seconds, making sure that all the perm rods are coated with the hot water take it out and place it on a towel to dry now you could choose to let it dry overnight you can choose to wait an hour however long you decide that's up to you and this is what the hair would look like when I take both sets of perm rods out and it the hair is fully curled So this wig is pretty much just about done. So basically all you have to worry about is styling it after you put it on your head. You can take some of the curls and just separate them a little bit starting with the bottom and just separate it so that it isn't as grouped together and perfect so that you can get some more volume. Um, and it's not as frizzy, but it is a little bit of frizzy just so that it won't have that perfect Shirley Temple curl type of look. So this is how it turned out. I love this wig and it's blue and it's like a two-tone blue color. I love this wig so much. And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any other hair request type of videos that you would like to see me try out. Subscribe if you haven't. And definitely make sure you hit that post notification bell so you can get notification every time I upload. And make sure you give this video a big ol' thumbs up. Until next time, stay awesome.